Welcome back my friends to my channel on YouTube Drilling and Workover This is Abdul Aziz Gab I am a creative instructor in IWC full control and I ADC well charb I am a created also instructor in IADC mod engineering basic and advanced mod school Today inshallah we will talk about some uh, questions on the BOB test so please pay attention to all these questions it will be very important question inshallah uh, first question for the BOB test what must you do if the uh, will barrier element fails a pressure test number A you must document the problems with uh, BOB equipment and all the and the actions you took to the correct to correct the problem so this is the right answer number A and this is the best answer uh, here number two after pressure testing BOB pressure have to be bled through as I told you through a needle valve uh, number three why should the side outlet valves below the test plug be kept in an open position while testing a surface BOB stack and you have two, uh, two answers so the best answers here are number D to monitor the annulus for a plug leakage for, for example and number E to prevent potential damage to the casing or formation so the right answer are number D and number E. Uh, number four, when testing the BOB stack with a test plug or cup tester, uh, cup type tester, why is pressure communication maintained from below the two to the atmosphere? Uh, actually, this is number B to avoid potential damage to the casing and or or the open hole. So this is very important. Number five, uh, under what circumstances a cup type tester would be used in prefer in preference to a test plug when testing a surface BOB? As I told you, the cup tester is used only if you need to make well head, but the test plug is uh, better if you need to make for the blind drain. So what is here the best answer? The best answer here is number B. When you require to test the entire wheel head, casing head, casing head here means the uh, braden head and outlets and the casing head seals, wheel head seals. So number B is the right answer. Number six, the body of a new BOB is given uh, a hydrostatic body or shell test after manufacture. If the BOB is rated, uh, has a rated working pressure 15K, 15k which means it is more than 10k which means 150 BSR uh, percent more than the working rating so what is the hydrostatic body pressure test required according to ABI recommendations it has to be if you are if you multiply this number in 1.5 it will give you number D which means uh, 22,500 BSI so number D is the right answer uh, question number seven how often should all operational components of the bob surface bob stack uh, equipment system be function tested be function tested according to api recommended practice 53 as i told you function test at least one uh, per week so number b is the right answer uh, number eight what is the suitable pressure and frequency for testing stab in valves? As I told you, the frequency uh, for testing stab in valves are the same like the rams. So what are the answers? It is the same pressure value for the testing BOB. This is the right answer. Number two, the same frequency for the BOB tested. Number B also is the right answer. So A and B are the right answers. Number nine. Sorry. Number nine, what to what pressure should the stab in valves be uh, tested to for a subsequent test to the maximum anticipated surface pressure? To the maximum anticipated surface pressure, which means the subsequent test means, means uh, the periodic test. And the periodic test is are the same like the RAMs, and we told you that the RAM it must be maximum than or anticipated surface pressure. Uh, number 10 here it is not a complete answer it's not a complete question 
So those uh, cho choices are not the right, but we will see check about the other inshallah. Uh, what is the maximum rating working pressure for test bomb suitable for testing 15k BOB stack? Actually, no one of them are the right answer, but the right answer, as I told you, it has to be more than 15k by 80%. So, uh, 15 divided by 0.8, it will give you uh, a number. It this number is plus or minus 20 BSI, is about 20 BSI. Uh, 20,000 BSI. Uh, number 11, after bro performing a drawdown test. And I told you the drawdown test will be given to you tomorrow, inshallah. Uh, after uh, performing a drawdown test, pressure on the accumulator gauge went down to 11, uh, to uh, 11.60, okay, BSI, not 200, uh, 1,200. And after 15 minutes, of waiting the pressure built up above uh, above uh, 1200 so this is very important and we will talk it inshallah tomorrow you have as as bear ebi you have to wait to wait 15 minutes you have to make 15 to wait 15 minutes if the pressure is not reaching to uh, plus or minus 200 above the recharge pressure or uh, or uh, to 1200 so you have to wait 15 minutes if after 15 minutes it's way it raised up again it's accepted if it is not raised up you have to another 15 minutes so the totally are 30 minutes but if it is also not uh, reaching to the 1200 so at this time there is a problem in the test so here, our, for, according to the question, the test is accepted. So number A is the right answer. Uh, number 12, number 12. Uh, after a pressure test, uh, the kill line from the well bore side uh, with test plug installed, how can the test pressure be bleed? As I told you, any bleed for the pressure test, it has to be through the needle valve. So. The number A is the right answer through the test bump needle valve since the check valve is removed during the test. Okay. Number 13, a drawdown test is performed with the BELOOK outcomes. As I told you, there is something called the time, the response time. As I told you, the response time, the time it takes to close the BOE or the time it takes to close the annular, and I told you that it, if it is more than uh, 18 and 80, 80 if it, it, it is more than 20 inch, for example, for the BOB, it takes 45 minutes for annular BOB, and uh, less than this, it can, it must take uh, less than 30 minutes, and for all the rams to be closed, it can take less than 30 minutes. So let's check about this. This is the annular, this is closing pressure, 500. Okay, what is the, about the annular BOB time to close? It's 39, uh, uh, take care also that the maximum for the BOB is 13.58. So at 15, 13.58, uh, no pressure would be more than, uh, no time would be more than 30 seconds. No pressure would, uh, no uh, time be uh, more than 30 seconds. So here, for to make a function test, closing pressure from the annular, this is more than 30 minutes, uh, 30 seconds. So this is not accepted. Number A is not accepted. Also here for the RAMs, time here also is more than 30 seconds. So number C also is not accepted. So number A and number C are not accepted. Uh, number 14, after performing a drawdown test, which of the following is considered an acceptable drawdown test? The drawdown test, inshallah, as I told you, uh, you have to make the test, and after finishing the test, you have to find in the pressure, in the accumulator pressure, plus or minus 200 more than, 200 BSI more than, the uh, bridge charged pressure and the bridge charged is plus or minus 1000 so that so that the best answer here is number uh, 
uh, C close all the RAMs and annular open one HCR and the remaining pressure is 1200 and the time to close the RAM is 28 seconds question number 15 while testing the VOB the punnet seal is leaking which action is needed if the punnet seal is leaking you have to change it immediately for sure so number 15 the best answer are number A the bonnet seal is leaking, so repair it immediately. So number eight is the right answer. Last question, number 16. What is the indication that the, the rubber of the cup pipe tester is leaking? As I told you, you will get the uh, return from the drill pipe on the, above, on the surface. So what is here? Yes, there is a flow from the drill pipe. So number B is the right answer. Uh, also, we will talk about some documentation, some documentation here. Uh, okay. What must be true for barrier test charts and documents? You have to choose two answers. As I told you, the right answers are number A, the test documents should record at least uh, uh, record the test pressure and its duration. Number B, the test documents should record the type of the test to be included. So number A and number B are the right answers. Uh, number two, what are the key requirements of the barrier test documents? Document, as I told you, there are two also answers. What are here the answers? Number B, all the barrier test documents must be signed by authorized person. Number uh, D, the barrier test must be recorded as I told you. So number B and number D are the right answers. Uh, last question is number three. Who should sign the pressure test documents as I told you? Number D is the right answer. The bomb operator, the drilling contractor representative or the tool pusher and the wheel operator representative or the company man, rig supervisor or any other words. Uh, thank you my friend today for this lesson. Inshallah, I hope to see you later in other lessons. And inshallah, tomorrow we will talk about very, very vital and very important uh, lesson in the accumulator uh, or in the Kumi unit. Uh, if this video appeals to you, please share, like, subscribe. It's your channel. And see you later, inshallah. Thank you very much. And see you later, inshallah.